Let's see what treasures await us. You already know what I'm gonna say. Apparently you can't have too many. That is gorgeous. Oh no, what is happening? We got a lot of things. What do I see here? So I have more than one. <laughs> Loving the brass vibes. Some fancy men on horses. This is quite the haul. My mom and I are getting ready to head out to go to the Goodwill to go thrifting. I actually have a box of things I wanna donate. I should not forget that. So I made myself a little cup of tea. I'm having some banana bread. My husband just like made banana bread this morning. Love that for me. But I'm gonna have this. We're gonna, I'm gonna grab that box and then we're gonna head out and see what we can find. Some vintage decor is always what we're after. Didn't forget the box, so we're ready to go. All right, we made it. Let's see what treasures await us. I might get this for my future sister-in-law. She said to look out for a basket that would work well for a little flower girl. I wonder if this is too big, but it is cute. Maybe I'll send her a picture and see what she thinks, but we'll put it here for now because always put it in your cart, even if you're still thinking about it, that way it won't find legs and disappear on you. What do we got down here? This is like a really massive platter. Wow, that's a nice one. It's really, really big. We don't have it's one that's big. You think Zana like it? Zana is my brother. It's got these like delicate little flowers. Hmm. I don't know. I wish I liked the flowers a little more, but I love the shape. This little guy is cute. It's just like very delicate. Three ninety nine. I don't know. I kind of like that. I'm just gonna put it in the cart and hold on to it and think about it. You found something too. <laughs> That is really cute. Have it. It's, with its, own little spoon. it's got a pineapple on top. Yeah. Are you gonna put sugar in it? No jam. Jam? All right. Like uh, this little guy. That's cute too. I might do jewelry with this. Jewelry. Yep. If you're into the blue and white, I mean that's not really white, but it's kind of cute. Little milk pitcher. These would make nice saucers for really big plants. I kind of like this bowl. I like its shape. Be pretty for fruit. Maybe like a salad even. I don't know. I kind of like it. What do you think of this? That's nice. I kind of like that for like a fruit bowl maybe. Yeah. Or even a salad bowl. Yeah, a small salad. It's gonna go in the cart and we'll see towards the end. What do I see here? I've been after like coops. These are maybe a little bit too fancy and not like deep enough. I don't like the leaves. So those are a pass. I saw these plates here last time and they're still here. Do they have stickers anymore? They don't even have a sticker anymore. I think these are so cute for under a plant as a saucer. You like this one? I do like that. It's a very pretty one also for like jewelry or Cotton. Swabs, little Q-tips. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. Put it in the cart for now, I think. Thank you. I always love high or low ball glasses like this, but it would be really nice to find real crystal ones. This one just seems to be cut glass. It's part of a set, so there must be another one here somewhere. These are really darling. 99 cents. Oh my goodness, my Oma used to have these in her. One of my family members had these. It was my mom or my grandmother. Yeah. These were in our house when I grew up. Well, I spotted them first. <laughs> <laughs> you can have them, but I, I can't resist this guy. He's the Pyrex so bowl? Small Pyrex, like when you make an omelet, one egg omelet. Yeah. Oh. It is cute. We don't have that size. If you come back to it twice, then you need to get it. We have a lot of clear glass bowls so far. <laughs> this is cute as a vase. It's very simple, but I love this size for a vase because I love a shorter arrangement instead of the like taller ones. We have similar size, but like rounder, not like straight up like this. But you don't have this size. I have two like this size. So it's up to you. Think on it. That is gorgeous. Oh no, I might be needing this. 
You know what I love about it? How dainty and delicate and thin it is. And I've seen them, but then there's plastic. I've never really seen a glass from that size. Oh, there's more of these. Hmm. Uh, now I want to. I would have six. I think these are the exact same as the other ones that I already put in the cart. But they're these are marked as a set. So we'll see what they say. Oh my god, that's so loud. Does that have a bike bell on it? More beer, please. <laughs> wow, that's a big vibe. Look at how cute this is. I never know like what you would put in such a small little domed thing. It's just like for really fancy butter. It seems big for butter. I don't know. Oh, there's a bigger one of this. Oh no, what is happening? It's the same shape. I don't know. I'm just I'm collecting them. Jello. Yeah, they served us jello and custard in, in, in these oh, smaller yeah. dessert bowls. I love that. I feel like this plate also goes, but I wouldn't use this in the kitchen. I would um, use that under a plant. That's pretty. I like that. These are super cute for like a small dessert to serve. Yeah, a little bit of ice cream or something. Yeah, You've always loved a little small dessert bowl like that. There's just like rows and rows of clear clear glass. And we are fans, definitely big fans of all this clear glass. It's important to go slow and like look through everything uh, so you don't miss anything. This is very similar to those bowls, but I don't love it as much with the little handles. I'm not a huge fan of the particular wood tone of this guy, but I love these. I have two of them at home. They're like carved wooden trivets. This one has a pretty brassy like inlay I've actually never seen that inlay kind of wish the wood was <clears throat> a little less red because then I would definitely be scooping this up um, they're just so pretty love that so I am always obsessed with all things brass but I don't really I don't really love these little baskets I wouldn't know what to do with them besides just setting them on a shelf not quite for me but loving the brass vibes like a tiny little delicate candle. Interesting. But these are not half bad. These little like tulip shaped bowls. Or I don't know if it's really tulip shaped, but those are kind of cute. Always love a ramekin for like dipums. What I like to call dipums. That one has an olive in it. Normally like 99 cents. Kind of like the small shape of this guy. It's kind of nice for inside a drawer for organizing. Or maybe I guess like you could put napkins out. Here, I saw these napkins before. Fits napkins very nicely. There's no price on it. Little milk glass face. A little live, laugh, love. <laughs> I feel like I had something just like this when I was younger, when I was a little girl. That reminds me of something from my childhood. A little set of hooks. I can't decide if these are cute or not. I feel like I'm decorated in the right situation. They could be cute. Hmm. Those are cute. Candle stick holders. Are those pewter? Says F. B. Rogers on the bottom. Nice. Are you gonna Are you gonna get them? nice for like at Christmas time too. Very cute for Christmas. <laughs> this little bear wants to be your bestest friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's check out the lamps, see if there's anything good. This is kind of like a desk lamp situation. Oh my gosh, these puzzles are my favorite. I have this one, otherwise I would buy this. But this brand of puzzles is, this is the highest quality puzzle that you will ever build. These are usually like 30 bucks brand new. It's missing its lid, but these puzzles are amazing. They each come in like this little bag. I have so many of these at home and I have this exact one with the jellyfish. I have built this. Oh, that just got me so excited. Somebody is really gonna enjoy building that. It's too bad that it doesn't have the lid. This lamp isn't half bad. I don't know if I love the bubbles. It's just okay. Always love a brass lamp. I wonder if this is the same one that was here last time. I don't love the shade. But the lamp itself is pretty. I like the shape. Actually, speaking of things that I had as a kid, I swear I had this alarm clock. It looks like a little TV. I had that as a kid. That is springing back a lot of memories. All right, next let's check out the artwork. 
This is kind of cute for like a little kid's room. I'll put it in a different frame that wasn't red. But I wonder what language this is in. It's not in English. But I really like all the little illustrations with it. Always look behind things too. Little fisherman and a little girl. This is kind of an interesting piece of art. It's from New Jersey where we are. Kind of like the style of that artwork. Nothing grabbing me. Some fancy men on horses. This is a really great basket. Look at how massive this is. The handles are maybe a little busted, but you can always just cut those off and not use it with the, the handles at all. But look at that, that is really nice. Is that worth like taking home? It's massive. What do you think of this? It's $4.99. What do you think? Yeah, where do you want to use it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Summertime, like a plant outside on the deck or porch. Yeah, I really love the color, the dark, dark brown. Hangs a little skew. <laughs> yeah, it's a little. It does. It's a but little flip floppy. This little guy is interesting. It's like a little riser. It's definitely not vintage. It's more new. I can't tell where it's from, but I kind of like that. I don't know. Probably stick a plant on it. That's all. I, that's all I ever do. Is stick a plant on it or in it. But that's kind of cute. I like that. You already know what I'm going to say. It's a good saucer for a plant. These are actually um, super pretty. Um, so the whole cap cut glass look isn't necessarily like the most modern thing at the moment. Most in style thing. But these look really pretty. I'll show you one at home. I have like an old ashtray that's like really chunky. And it's like, ugh, what would you really even do with that? But I stuck it under a plant and it catches the sun and it's super pretty. These are really cute. Those are cute for propagations, little leaves in there to grow, um, grow some roots. That is cute, mom. I like that a lot. That is really cute. $1.99. I love that. And I don't love a lot of Christmas decor. This is also a cute shape for uh, plant propagations. I swear I like decorate with more than just plants, but it is a pretty big part of my decorating. These are really cute. I like the shape. It's such a deep bowl, yeah, you know, nice like, small, deep bowl. Yeah, like berries and yogurt. Yeah. Uh, look at these cute parts. Oh, yeah, like those are cute. I like the handles on them. <laughs> this is such a unique basket. It's good for like in an entryway if you're into the weave on this and everything. It's good for like keys just by the front door. Hi, Kitten. What is all this? <laughs> So I'm just sitting here on the floor because we got a lot of things. This is quite the haul. So I'm gonna actually show you what my mom got as well. We might as well just dive in. She did end up buying these um, candlestick holders. They're kind of like a silvery pewter. I don't know like what the actual material is, but they were $6.99 for the pair. She thought those would be pretty for Christmas. We love flower vases quite a bit we have a lot of them uh, and we have them in all different shapes and sizes obviously for different size arrangements but don't underestimate like a cutie little smaller size flower vase um, and we just really like the shape on that one it was pretty simple it was $2.99 for that my mom ended up getting this little ramekin that had the olives in it this was 99 cents we have a lot of ramekins but apparently you can't have too many she got this little Pyrex bowl. We actually have like two of the sizes, I think, that are a little bit bigger, uh, but we didn't have this little tiny guy. So my mom got that um, for $5.99, real Pyrex. She got this pretty little container. It has a lid for like in the bathroom or on a dresser for jewelry or something like that. This was the first thing she spotted, the little jam jar she ended up bring that home as a little pineapple on top. This is another Pyrex dish. This one was $4.99. Just has like little handles. She thinks maybe originally it had a lid. It's almost like a baby casserole Pyrex dish. Um, so she got that. She got this little cutting board. Uh, it actually says Land Lakes deli cheese on it, which is not the greatest, but you can actually just use that side of it always. And then what else? She got these Christmassy, kind of like candles. They have pretty like gold pears and they have pine cones. And then my mom ended up scooping up this puzzle that I was excited to spot. 
so I have it, like I said, but my grandpa, my opa, he lives in South Africa, also really loves to puzzle. So she got that for him because she always likes to bring him a puzzle or two when they go to visit. My mom also got this roasting pan, which is kind of nice. This was $7.99. For some reason, there were a ton of these boxes of light bulbs. They were only $1.99 a box, minus 40% off because the green stickers were 40% off. So a bunch of light bulbs, LED light bulbs that were inexpensive. She got four boxes. So sometimes the thrift store and Goodwill and stuff come comes in handy for like very useful to like utilitarian things like that. But now on to what I got. So I didn't end up getting the first basket that I saw that would be for um, my brother-in-law, my future sister-in-law's wedding that's coming up in June for their flower girl. But I did find this little guy. It was just like a little bit smaller than the one I originally saw. So I picked that up for Hopi. I did end up getting the really big basket. It is massive. I just really love the color. I feel like most baskets are like lighter tones um, and you don't often see them in the darker tones. So I really liked that. I'm just gonna cut off these handles. I got this glass pitcher. This was $5.99. I just love it. I love the dainty rim. It's just so pretty. Love a pitcher because these also double as flower vases. So they're useful for more than one thing around the house. So I have more than one. <laughs> I ended up getting this little dish. I think this was like the first thing that I picked up for myself. I just love the scallops. It's just so pretty. And I'm gonna use it on my dresser to keep jewelry in. And then next to that, I'm gonna put this little guy. It's also like, just like a little cut glass dish. I just thought the signs was so cute. And it's just a little guy. That's perfect for rings on my dresser. So these two are gonna live with all of my other little um, dishes and trinket things that I have. And then I did end up with six of these bowls that match each other. I first found the set of two and then I found a set of four. So all together, um, they charged me $5.99 for the set of six. I just like really love these also have like a scallop, but the scallop is kind of like, it alternates like a bigger curve with a smaller curve. But I just thought that these were so darling little dessert bowls. And then there was a bigger one that matched that, but it was bigger than a cereal bowl, but not quite big enough for a mixing bowl or a salad bowl. So I ended up leaving that one just because I felt like it wasn't as useful a size, but I did get this one, which I feel like is really nice for a smaller salad or a fruit bowl. You could even use it as a fancy mixing bowl if you wanted. <laughs> um, so just lots of uses for this one and I love the shape on that one. This one was $4.99, but I think that's everything. It was a big haul. I'm gonna go put most of this in the dishwasher now, but I'm super excited about my finds from this trip and I'm really looking forward to taking you along again on the next one, wherever we end up going next. We wanna to go to more estate sales starting soon and garage sale season is getting closer and closer. So we're gonna be doing a lot more of this.